Hey everyone, it's uh, Joe and Isaiah from The Automator, and we were we're working still on our script for the Auto Hockey Helper. Uh, it's getting closer and closer, but we wanted to add like a a fuzzy match when you type, so it's not a perfect match. And uh, we, I was telling Isaiah is about this cool script on the forum called Sift. Yeah, Do you remember who the author is? Uh, I think it's in. Oh, yeah, it is. It is on the file itself. So yeah, so. Yeah. But yeah, what's His name sharing. was Fanatic Guru or something like that. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Um, it, you know, the only thing that messes it was kind of funny because so again, my background is in data science, right? And Levenstein comparison is one where you you uh, it's another comparison that I think at some point maybe we'll add it to this thing. Uh, but it, it, it compares, hey, how many characters do I have to change? in order to go from this word to that word, and it gives you a mathematical score. And this, so these are things you can do for waiting to say, hey, what's my best match, right? What's yes. my best comparison? Um, anyway, in the script, um, why don't you go ahead and share your screen here. Yes. Uh, I was yes. telling him, because we were doing it on our script, and I said, why don't you just bring it back into the original script, and let's change the text that Directly. we're searching across yeah. to dynamically look at it. Yeah. The problem is, when Fanatic Guru did this, he hard-coded the text that's visible, which I'm not knocking. He did a don't get me wrong. It's an amazing script. Very, very cool. But, hey, wouldn't it be great if this was actually an edit field? That it, maybe it starts off that with the text. That then we could can swap it out. Go ahead and, yeah. And so then, here, yeah. Because Isaiah knows so much about GUIs, and, and you guys might want to consider our intro to GUIs course, because he's the one that led that entire thing, right? And it's it's yeah. so easy for him. He's like, I can swap that out in, you know, 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, no it, was, it was something, it was, <laughs> yeah, but it was something very simple. The, 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 the thing that he did is that he just uh, created the edit control and he just made it to be uh, read only. So what happens is that he just set up some text in it. And now if you try to type on it, nothing is going to happen because it is read, on, read only. And this is very common in different uh, um, scenarios in which you just want to present some information to the user and you don't uh, you don't want them changing the information it's just for notifications and stuff like that but in general it is very easy to add that feature to an edit control or remove it in this case I just went ahead and looked for all the other controls I just selected one of them and I noticed where my uh, uh, editor highlighted so it highlighted the second one down here. The reason why I didn't pick the first one is because it doesn't have the option here to be read-only. So I just selected the second one, and when I checked, yeah, sure enough, there's the read-only uh, option right there. You just delete that, save, and you reload your script, and you're good to go. Now this, you can actually just go ahead and remove it, and now you can type on it. Now, one of the things that we were uh, – let me verify if this works – uh, right now, so if we have like this is a test, I just wanted to know if I just look for test. Ah, so that's why there. That's the reason why he doesn't he doesn't want you to kind of like um, um, edit the text because he's editing it himself. We what we could do is try to modify this to instead of um, replacing the text how he's doing it. Because what he's doing is just he, he's replacing the text to uh, to just put the, the text that matches whatever he was looking for. But we could actually try to highlight the text instead of that. I don't know if you remember that we were dealing with some uh, send message commands uh, on the edit control, the notepad. And we were trying to go to a line. If we were trying to jump to a line at, the, at that moment, uh, and, and that was for our other script, right? right. And we were right. sending messages to the uh, edit control. And one of the messages that you can do is use the uh, select command to select the word on it. So that's a message that you can send. The only thing is that you have to know where, where the word starts and where it ends. Probably with this same function, we could actually do the search and figure out the position in the in the in the editor. Even if there's but, multiple yeah. instances of it, because no, I don't think. I think okay. you can only highlight the first one, because but I don't think you can highlight many of them. Just one. No. But but then that's. I mean, that's the point of this one is it. it you know, as you type it. It's showing you what matches, and it gets yes. 
what we could do in this case, just to kind of like continue with the example that we were trying to do, uh, as I know that he's actually just replacing the information from a variable, I know what variable right. that is, because exactly. he put it here in data, right? right? So what I could do is that whenever he goes ahead and uh, uh, he just set it to the edit control, but whenever you type, which is the query in here, he's doing a submit, no hide, and he's just grabbing the information from the control. So what I would say is like the controls variable is GUI display here. I really think at some point he's going to use it. Here it is. And this is where he sets the control, right, for that text. Now, from the GUI display, he's grabbing the text from data, which is something that he has statically done. But I could just, instead of using data, I could just use the variable of the of the um, oh, I gotcha. right. So so I'm just going to use whatever is in the control at that moment, and I will right. just use that, right. right? So let me go ahead and verify what we have now. I think th th that would be an issue because as soon as I start typing, what is going to happen is that as it is going to replace the control, right. then it's going to come empty in the end. So I know that this is not going to work, but I could, uh, oh, I, if I think about it, uh, if I think about how I could do it in a way that I just oh. use whatever you just typed, instead of replacing the control, maybe I should do something else. We will see how we, we're going to do that. Here's, Go ahead. I mean, here's what I would do just because I'm lazy, right? <laughs> I would just set um, data to be uh, equivalent to a file read and point to a text file and then just tell people you just edit the text file. Put the text file you want, the text in the text file you want. And you're good to go. Now, here's here's what I was thinking. Yours is much sexier. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> no, but, but what yeah. I was just thinking is like we could just allow you to paste te text right here, whatever I want to try. So this is a test. And now when I start doing the queries, it would use whatever initial text was there the first time to do the, the matching of do the whole matching, right? Right, but... Doesn't that fall into when you have the loop thing where it's coming back to it over and over that's going to end up breaking it because you're you're I don't you're see it as a, This is the problem. So whenever I type, it is just kind of like grabbing the original text. So probably okay. Okay. what I Let's, could do what I could do is set data to whatever the control is at the moment. So the variable data. I got you. I could just set it to whatever yeah. we display has at that moment. I, that would yeah, just right. do everything and right. that's it, right? Right. So yeah. in that case, what we're going to do, just restart. This time, I'm just going to start with this is a test. And this is not much. If I put the word test here on top, I should get the first, um, yeah. Right. So now, when I remove it, it should go back to where right. to the old to the original thing. But I just replaced data. Now, what I could do is just save data to old data, and then just at the end of displaying it, just return data to the old data. Maybe that would fix it. So that way, I already have the original in it. Um, Hold on, let me see. This is when it does. It displays the... Now, the reason why this is not working is because you have one place where the text is, and he's just, how do I say, like, replacing the whole text. Hold on. What happens when you remove the whole thing? Like, if it is on display, you just put it there. And what happens when... It is empty when query text is empty. So if query text is less than the engram size, we just do that. If it is more, it would do some display. How does he bring back the original text? Let me let me double check on that before we continue. Hold on. This, This is the original text. He uses the word how, and when I remove it, he gets the original text. You see that? So that's the question. How how is he 
So I know that query is doing that. So let me see. This is the one that generates the query text. So this is the one that starts query text. Now, these options, this is over there. So let's just, this is when just doing this makes a little bit more sense. So we just, hold on, let me not break yet. Let me put the test. Now, let me break and let's just remove this. Right. Now, let me see how the script actually follows its path. It didn't do that. It's going to do the display sift. Now, query text should be empty. So if it is empty and it is a regular expression, it will just bring back whatever data was. So that's what is going on. I get it. So now this display will return the, the original data that was displayed. Now in our case, we're replacing data with whatever is written there. But what I want to do is just have the old data. Right. So, so I, I want to have the old data being shown here. Right, so I would just call that the original data. Let's see, hold on. Because that is not making much sense think, to me then. You don't want to, you want to, I think, set that old data to data somewhere else outside of this, right, where it first gets written, set that, and then be restoring it to old data. So you mean like when it is first written here? No, because the problem here is that I show the GUI, right? And that stops right there. So I don't do anything else right there. Yeah, but wh where is uh, where is data created in the first place with the text? Here, uh, on this line 76. So he's creating the... Um, no, that's where it's being displayed, right? But that's not, um, to me, you're not storing yeah, so, it. So, you had a highlight yeah, of five is where it's so, being created. This is where it's being created, right? So now the problem is, what I want to do, and this is just kind of like my personal preference, is that if you type something on the on the GUI, like here, right, that's going to be used as the as the search data. But the problem is that for this to happen, the GUI should be created already. So yes, the GUI is going to have some basic data, which is there, right? And after it's created and it is just done, whenever I do the query, and this is the thing, I could just do that if query text is empty, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So if not query text, so if not query text, then uh, data equals old data. That's it. That, that would just reset it. So or if it is empty, yeah, that should be the same. So here, now I don't need to do this. When I have, when I do my submit, I just save whatever you stored in all data. But that should be done only once. So let's go ahead and do um, if not old data. Right? Then you're going to go ahead and set it up. After I have it, then that's it. Um, and what about if I change it later? So if I change the data later, we will see. But right now, this should at least do part of what I'm thinking. So let's say I change it to this is a test. This will not match. If I use a test, and if I remove it, ooh, wow. This is the part that kind of like threw me off. 
Yeah, and to be fair, you, you know, you hadn't looked at this script at all. No, <laughs> no, I, I, I have never. No, no. So, so this is the point of this is how you start adapting things. And but right basically, here. what what is going on right now is that I am. Uh, so hold on. And what does old data contain? And why did old data have that? Why did old data? So it did. It did what I was expecting. My problem is that it didn't save the data that I thought was going to save. So let me go ahead and run the script again. And, and again, what makes it this a little bit more complex is just what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is just not needed. There's other ways that I could do it like easier. Sure. I just wanted to just uh, yeah. make a, a line and I just say this. Now well, and this. We're working with how he'd laid out and designed the thing instead of how you right. would have done it. So I, yeah, I get Oh, yeah. yeah. So not data. What I wanted to save there is the GUI display information. That's what I want to to have. This is whatever I have. Um, so this would be my original data. So whatever is on the display. In this case, I'm going to do my query. I'm going to do everything. Now, if there's nothing there, I would just restore whatever I have. So yeah, now, now, I, now it should work. So this is a test. This should not match. Now, if I use the test, stop doing that. So test, and if I remove it, exactly. So I just have the last line that I had in there. So now, but the problem now is that if I change the text right here, so let's say this is another test, this is another match. So this text now, whenever I do the test, it's going to try it. But now when I restore this, it's going to restore the first test I have. So uh, the, the, the way to figure this one out is that old data or old data not equals to whatever we have in there. So that's it. Probably that fixes it. So if I if I change the text to something new, it should actually get it. This is a test. This should not match. This would say test. I'm matching. Oh. Why did that not work? Probably work perfectly. Fine. <laughs> yeah, because they're not the same. <laughs> yeah. So not good display probably data. Yeah. And, and this is why I generally speaking stay away from GUIs. <laughs> well, it's, not exactly. This one is not really the, well, no, this one is not about the GUI itself, but um but it is, because it's it's you have multiple places where people come in to it. Right, and it's rereading that. That's why I kind of called it a loop of like it's reading it, but then it goes back. You know, when you well, were yeah, yeah. But the the what I'm trying to do right now is just this information that I'm saving here. So let me try it. So if I use the test, the old data is the original. This is the original thing that I had at the beginning. Now, what I want to do is kind of like change the, uh -huh. so let's just do this. Say for example, if I change this to something else, changing. Now when I do this, I want it to change. You know what? The way to do this is just setting up a, um, I think for this a G label for this edit control that if you change the text in it, it just saves it. The, let me let me just do it first. So mm -hmm. the query does one thing, and the um, oh, original text does another thing. So no. So let's call this one the haystack. So what I'm trying to do is 
if you change the haystack, so the haystack starts with a with a specific information, the 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 variable that we have up here. Now, if you change the haystack, if you change it, I want to save that information in a way that the query then uses it instead of um, whatever it had at the beginning. So the original thing, right. right? Exactly. So what we're doing is the script itself was using the word data, right? But I want to always use some very specific thing. So here's the thing. If I could put the old data here. So what, so this is the query text, right? Now, or old data is not equals to whatever you have, right? So what I'm trying to do is This should do it. When you type up here, oh, stop. When I type up here, I do not want to be changing the original data all the time. So, uh, oh, the problem is that down here, whenever this thing actually triggers this down here, oh man. That's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, so this green control, whenever you set text on it, it actually triggers this thing down here. So I could just probably ignore it. Hmm. So um, just one second. Yeah, if I do this, it should, this should work, right? So test, if I remove, it should come back to where it was. Right. There you are. So let's put for the test. Remove it. Why is all that a uh, O? Because we submit no high. That's why. Whenever you work with Luis, you have to submit this or get the information directly, either or. So now, um, if we show you test and remove it, the old data should not be blank. What? Check on something. So this. What do you have? So they, data has this whole thing. Did I right? So that is whatever is in there. Now what happens is when there is no query. just an update and this whole thing I do want to do it as I was doing it before which is okay okay so let's try that so okay
It's only the ID and I'm a second. So this is going to be like this. It's going to be fine. What is all data? Yeah, the whole thing. Exactly. This working fine. So this retrieved whatever I had before. So this is the thing. Now, my other um, my other thing is say that I changed this to something else. So let's say now it is this. Oh, right. Now this should be a T. Exactly. That's good. That's great. So now this is a test. This should match. Now I could test, remove it. That should bring me the old data, which is, yeah. And now that's my own match. Now let's change this to test. This is not match. If I say match and remove, yeah, there you go. So let me let me explain what happened. So basically, what I was trying to do was just exactly this. So now you can update the text down here to whatever you like, so that you can perform the texts, the the the, the tests that you right. want. So I could just copy any any text like this, just copy, paste it, and now my matching uh, should. Uh, work for whatever I just pasted, and if I change the text to something else, it should also work, and when I remove it, it should go back to that, what I just pasted. So whenever I am updating this guy here at the bottom, one of the issues that I was having is, you have to think about these two controls. One is the netit control where I'm performing the searches, and the other one down here is the one that has the, the main text. And I, if I put all my actions on the query here, on the, on the edit control on the top, it would always do uh, an update, even though I don't want it to do an update. Sometimes I don't want it to update the text. And this section here, I was just, trying to save the information if the information changed only. What happens is that when you're performing a query, it changes every time you type. So that that's why it was not working. So whenever I'm typing, it was making some changes and it was just not working out. So that's the reason why I decided to kind of like separate it. On the query, I just do one part. And on the haystack at the bottom, if you change something in there, then I go ahead and save it. Well, and, and, see, and, and I know it's not a quote unquote loop, but that was my point. No. Yeah, yeah exactly. It, you know, it keeps feeding itself. Right. So, exactly. You know. Yes. Right. So in this case, uh, uh, this is kind of like uh, we didn't expect that I was going to go ahead and change the whole thing to perform this. Probably he didn't want to do all this, and that's the reason why he made it just not editable and don't deal with it. But in this case, uh, we just change it in a way that now you can put whatever text you want, and his function is still going to work out. Hey, go ahead and go back up here, and let's just really quickly demonstrate a couple examples. So launch, launch the script, please. Because yeah. we didn't really explain, you know, so, the, the, you know, when you type above, if it's in at all, you know, if the, the words you put in the query, that right. but if on the left match or right match or an exact, which, of course, is going to be very rare. Right. Let me let me just copy his original text from here. Just do that very quick. Because with this, you could definitely see very easily what we mean. So when it when we're looking at in, so the word that I use should be anywhere inside the sentence. So if I put the word do, then it would show up here in do, in does. You know, it is inside. It doesn't matter where. But if I search for it, I should be able to find the word do somewhere in the text. And now, I'm looking at all right now on each line. Right. Yes, but this is the thing. So in this case, I do not see it there. Right. So probably he... 
the 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 algorithm that he's using might have some some mishaps. Yeah, I see that it is not here either. See that? So it might have some issues there. Now, if we use it left, what that does is that it would look for the word do, but only if it is at the beginning of the of whatever I'm trying to match. In this case, it is not. There, there's no line that starts with that. But I could use the word how probably. Is it because? Hold on. Maybe the I know what it is. I'm sorry. L trim here would work better. So it is actually capturing the 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 tabs that were embedded on the text, and that's the reason why it was not finding the word how. So I just set up the option left, and it would any. Uh, Row or it has to begin uh, with that. yeah, it has to begin with whatever you're searching. So if I use the word do, there are no sentences that start with do, so that's why they don't show up. But I could use the word can, for example, because I have some of them. And right would be the same, but to the right, exactly. Exact match would be something that matches exactly what uh, you have. So let me go ahead and verify something. I'm not sure why exact here is just kind of like deleting everything, but. Yeah, there we go. Exact would be like where, huh? Well, you'd have I to have an entire thing, right? It's got to be a perfect match. No, but I noticed that whenever you have other options, yeah, the I text is there, really but wrong, right? here's just kind of like well, because right, because nothing. Oh, right it would now, be the whole like yeah, yeah I understand. You gotta copy something first. So up, you mean like the whole thing? Yeah. I would have no, to paste just a line. Like, Can I run HK from a USB drive? Copy the whole line. Can yeah, I uh, any line? Yeah, so this is not going to work. That's what I thought that it should do, but it was not going to work because there is no text in it. Right? Right. So, right. Yeah, so probably the well, whole thing, like the, if I copy paste the whole thing with the, with the gotcha. uh, new lines and stuff, yes. maybe that could work, but I'm not really sure. That's and, right. Again, there's a few things that probably we, we don't know if they're working. Okay. Characters is pretty cool, right? Regex. It's okay. The regular expression, you know how to use that. The order character. So that is the I'm gonna put word uh, characters like the initial and, right the first just letter of each word. Right. For example, and it is just showing me any sentence in which you can find exactly those characters in that same order. Right. So it has to first match the W, probably here, the R, so it find the R over here. If I put the R in front of the W, it might not match that way, right? Because it has to be in the same order. Now, on ordered, that means that it would match the characters that I type, but then it doesn't matter where the 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 character is. So if I put the Y before the W, it's still going to match Y because it doesn't matter if the Y is in front of the W or not. Ordered words, basically, you will have to find complete words I would assume. So let me see the line. Exactly. So it's the same, but it is matching the complete words in the order that you type them and unordered words. So this this guy is very good. This uh, function is very interesting. But now what we just did is that we just extended this test script to allow you to change the text to anything else you want, and then. When, when you use that other text, you just go ahead and paste it, and now you can use the same for that um, uh, <laughs> uh, for that text that you just have. Right now. So, yeah, yeah. now yeah, so, obviously, this is just kind of a, a demonstration on the functionality of each of those codes. If you want yes. to have this in your tool, you're going to have to go through like we're doing and borrow from it and grab the function yes, and bring them exactly. into your tool. It, it, I think it is a great way to say, well, which one of these do I want? And then otherwise you're copying yeah. each one over, adapting it. You know, in this way we can say like, well, it's imperial. It's so easy. Let's just test it. Which one's looking right. best? Exactly. Oh, and, and this is exactly what we were trying to do with um, a table of contents that we had and see why is it matching in a specific way. But yeah, we are going to see... Um, 
uh, it is good to have these kind of functions, right? So for you to go ahead and play with it and modify yeah, and I, do whatever you want, right? Honestly, you know, fuzzy matching is not used nearly enough in a lot of things. And the ability to change how you're matching <laughs> is a great functionality. Yes. Yes, it's true. Awesome. Well, thanks, man. Okay, so we're going to be talking later. Yeah, bye. Hey, thank you for watching that video. And uh, if you're not aware of it, we actually have a course on GUIs with AutoHotKey. It's called um, GUIs Are Easy, and they truly are. I I was actually you know hesitant to make it, so I I had my employee Isaiah work through it, and he's a great instructor. The quality of this course is is by far our best. But learning GUIs isn't nearly as complex as you might think. So please check it out. Thank you.